Thank you for showing an interest in living liver donation. The Living Donor Liver Transplant Program at New York Presbyterian Hospital is one of the largest and most experienced in North America. We have performed over 220 live donor liver transplants since our program began in 1998, and we are currently the only center to offer fully laparoscopic surgery to our donors. Let's begin by summarizing the process of becoming a liver donor. Once your recipient has been placed on the transplant waiting list, they have the opportunity to meet with their health care provider and discuss the option of living donor liver transplantation. If the recipient is interested in living donor transplantation, then our center can begin accepting telephone inquiries from interested donors. Donors must be between the ages of 20 and 60 years of age, be in general good health, and have a compatible blood type. If you are interested in donating to an adult, you must have a close and personal relationship with the recipient. A potential donor's first step would be to contact me. My name is Darby Santmore. I am the Living Donor Coordinator. My role is to facilitate our donors through their evaluation, surgery, and follow-up care. I am the donor's main contact in the Living Liver Donor team. During an initial telephone conversation, we will discuss the process of becoming a donor and get a basic demographic, social, and medical history. Once the donor team, who I will introduce to you shortly, reviews this information, the donor will be sent a detailed medical questionnaire and an evaluation consent form. Once these documents are returned, the medical questionnaire will be reviewed and it will be decided if the potential donor is an acceptable candidate for evaluation. A donor's evaluation looks similar to a recipient's evaluation in many respects. However, donor's evaluation will be with a living liver donor team. One of the first appointments a donor will have is with Stella Gowdy. Stella is a transplant coordinator here at the Center for Liver Disease and plays a vital role in the donor team. Stella educates donors on liver transplant and donation. She is available to answer questions and address concerns donors may have during their evaluation. The donor's surgical appointment will be with Dr. Benjamin Samstein. Dr. Samstein is the surgical director of the Living Donor Transplant Program. He is a part of the clinical evaluation of donors. He also decides which lobe of the liver will be used, performs the donor surgery, and guides our patients through their hospitalization and postoperative recovery. Dr. Ava Sotil is the Living Liver Donor Team's hepatologist. Dr. Sotil is also a part of the clinical evaluation and postoperative care of our donors. She meets with all donors, unless she happens to be the recipient's doctor. If that's the case, then the donor will be scheduled to meet with another one of our experienced hepatologists here at the Center for Liver Disease. Dr. Douglas Murata is the independent physician for the donor program and a part of an independent donor advocacy team. Dr. Murata is an equal member of the Living Liver Donor Team, but has no ties to the Department of Transplant. He evaluates the general medical condition of prospective donors and assesses the potential effect donation may have in their future health. Dr. Sylvia Hafliger is the donor psychiatrist. She meets with the donors and their care partners to dis help them understand the risks and benefits of living liver donation. Donation may be emotionally stressful. Donors may become depressed, anxious, or overwhelmed during the surgical procedures and recovery period. Dr. Hafliger assesses the risks and ability of a donor to handle the process. She works with a potential donor to help them decide if donation is the best decision for them and ensures that donors have an adequate care plan and social support. Ann Lawler and Marsha Levy are our donor social workers. They are also a part of the independent donor advocacy team. A potential donor and their care partner will meet with either Ann or Marsha during their evaluation. Their role is to assess the donors from a psychosocial perspective, to understand the donor's relationship to the recipient, as well as their motivation for wanting to donate. Anna Marsha makes sure that donors understand the risks of donating, that they are fully informed, committed, and have proper social support. They also have financial resources available to qualify donors. A prospective donor should also expect to meet with a financial coordinator who will explain what portion of the evaluation, surgery, and follow-up care will be covered by the recipient's insurance and what portion they may be responsible for. Donor candidates also undergo several medical exams. Blood work will be done to test the liver function, the kidney function, and your overall general health. Donors will be tested for hepatitis and HIV. They will also have a chest x-ray and EKG done to check their lungs and heart. 
an MRI will be done that allows the radiologist to perform a 3D reconstructed image of the liver so that the surgeon can make sure it's of adequate size for both the donor and the recipient, as well as allowing us to see the liver's anatomy and vasculature. Additional testing may be required depending on the individual donor candidate. These tests may include lab work, urine tests, echocardiograms, and liver biopsies, to name a few. Once a donor's evaluation is complete, the donor will be presented at the Living Liver Donor Selection Meeting. The team will decide if the donor is medically and psychosocially appropriate for donation. If cleared, a donor will get a two-week cooling off period. This time is given to make sure a donor is comfortable with their decision to be a donor and mentally prepared for the donation. A donor has the right to opt out at any point in time if they decide this decision just is not right for them. The donor team maintains their confidentiality throughout the process, and that includes, includes reasons for not wanting to donate. Once a donor is ready to move forward, the donor team and the recipient team will agree on a surgical date and plan their preoperative appointments. For a donor, that would include an appointment with their surgeon, Dr. Benjamin Samstein, and an anesthesiologist. The donor will also have repeat blood work and a CAT scan done in preparation for surgery. The day of surgery for both the donor and the recipient will begin quite early in the morning. They will be asked to check in in our admitting office and then be brought up to the operating room. The donor's surgery lasts approximately six hours and I would anticipate staying in the hospital for about five days depending on your recovery. Once a donor is dis discharged from the hospital, that is when your care partner's job really comes into play. For the first month after donation, liver donors are often very fatigued. This is the time your body will use its energy regenerating that part, part of the liver that was removed. This is why your care partners are so important. They are there to help out as much as necessary. After donation, you will return to the Center for Liver Disease for examinations with the surgeon or the hepatologist, as well as having blood work done. Donors will also have an MRI done at three months and one year post donation so we can determine the regrowth of the liver after surgery. We prefer to follow up with our donors indefinitely so we can make sure they are feeling well and not having any issues that could be related to their donation.